White came out of the opening in poor but not desperate shape. He has a weak square on d3 and is under pressure down the long diagonal. We also see that the pawns on e4 and h4 seriously limit the white pawns, leading f2 and g2 to be long-term weaknesses. But the big problem at the moment is that black is planning to exploit the hook at b3 to open up the a-file to come in and attack f2, which can easily become weak, and indeed this is what happened in the game. White needs to try and solve these issues, preferably sooner rather than later. He could try. King g1 f1. Simply to improve the king, although there are some moves that would give white problems. Bishop b2 a3 would not fully work. Knight c5 takes on b3. Knight c3 captures e4. Knight b3 a5. c4 c5. Knight a5 c4. Rook d6 d3. Bishop g7 e5. Therefore, rook d6 d1 is a decent move. The main point behind this is that the rook is no longer in the way of ba3 xf8. Knight f8 e6 seems to be the strongest option. Black is certainly more comfortable after. Knight f4 takes on e6. Knight c5 captures e6. Knight c3 a4. Bishop g7 captures b2. Knight a4 captures b2. King g8 f8. Black has more space and white will have to use a few moves to bring the knight back into the game. Knight c3 d1 is better than the game, if nothing else. After Bishop g7 captures b2. Knight d1 captures b2. a7 a5. We have a position that Ivan Juke could have chosen in the game, after 1. And a4 bx b2 white could not play 2. And x c5? b a3. I guess that Kramnik wanted his knight to be on a4 in other lines, but the value of this is seriously in doubt. Knight c3 a4. Kramnik certainly had a tactical idea behind this move. The problem is that the weakening of the pawns is considerable and no amount of calculation can make up for this subsequently. So why did Kramnik play this? Did he go insanely deep and decide that he can draw the ending? Or more realistically, did he have a bad day and overlook something? I believe the latter. Knight c5 captures a4. Bishop b2 captures g7. King g8 captures g7. b3 takes on a4. Rook a8 e8.
King G1 F1 was the alternative. Best play might look something like Rook E8 E5. Knight F4 E2. Rook E5 C5. Rook D6 D4. F7 F5. Black is threatening, Kf6 followed by, and e6 when he would win a pawn, so white has to react immediately. f2 f3. e4 captures f3. g2 captures f3. g6 g5. f3 f4. Forced again, to avoid, Kf6 and, and e6. Knight f8 e6. Rook d4 d6 King g7 f7 f4 captures g5 king f7 e7 rook d6 d2 knight e6 captures g5 looks very dangerous rook d6 d7 king f7 f6 rook d7 captures b7 g5 captures f4 e3 captures f4 a7 a5 rook b7 a7 rook c5 captures c4 rook a7 takes on a5 knight e6 captures f4 knight e2 takes on f4 rook c4 captures f4 king f1 e2 Rook f4 b4. White will have a tough job trying to draw this ending. a4 a5. I think that this is the best option. Kramnik had probably found that there was something wrong with what he intended, and decided to go for a dangerous, though not hopeless, ending. a7 a6 Rook d6 d2 Rook e8 e5 Rook d2 b2 Rook e5 captures a5 Rook b2 captures b7. Rook a5 takes on a2. Rook b7 c7. Rook a2 a1. King g1 h2. Rook a1 f1. Rook c7 takes on c6. Rook f1 captures f2. Rook c6 captures a6. Rook f2 c2. Rook a6 c6 Knight f8 d7 Rook c6 c7 Knight d7 e5 Does not save the c-pawn The threat of mate makes life quite unpleasant for white here Rook a6 d6 Rook c2 captures c4 King h2 g1. In chess today, Alexander Baburin called this a winnable ending. I am not entirely certain about this, but it is clear that black is very close to the full point with his extra pawn. 
In the end Ivanchuk could not find a plan to create the greatest difficulties for his opponent, and the game was drawn.